evening service is the Holy Eucharist celebrating the consecration of a bishop. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And blessed, blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, <laughs> unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will go before the altar of God into the presence of the God of our joy and gladness. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitfulness, deceitful and the wicked. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth, that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. That I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness, and on the harp I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is with the help of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will go before the altar of God, into the presence of the God of our joy and gladness. Glory to God in the highest, peace to his people on earth.
The Lord be with you. And also with thy spirit. Let us pray. God, eternal shepherd, you tend your church in many ways and guide us with your love. Help your chosen servant Thomas as a pastor for Christ. Watch over your flock. Help him to be a faithful teacher, a wise administrator, and a holy priest. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John chapter 20. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When therefore it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and when the doors were shut where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and he said to them, Peace be with you. And when he had said this, he showed them both his hands and his side. The disciples therefore rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus therefore said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, their sins have been forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they have been retained. The Holy Gospel of our Lord in Christ. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
really don't prophesy this much when I consecrate a bishop. In fact, this is very unusual, but you know, from this day forward, things are going to be changed in your life and in your spirit, for the Spirit of the Lord is upon you because He's anointed you to bring good tidings to the poor of this nation. The Lord said, I've brought you here and I'm going to plant you here. You'll live here and you'll die here, saith the Lord. But in times gone by, there was an uncertainty. He said, Lord, is this where I'm always going to be? Will I ever go back? Will I ever go home? But the Lord says, when I give you a call, there's going to come a grave, saith God. And you'll know that this is where I've called you to be. And you'll be planted here, saith God, like a tree by the rivers of living water. And fruit for many, many, many generations shall come as a result of that planting, saith the Lord. Amen. this gospel and preach the word of God with unfailing patience and sound teaching. Receive this book and be in the church a man of prayer. Take this ring the seal of your fidelity, with faith and love, protect the bride of God, this holy church. Take this cross and join with our Lord in his sacrifice. as a sign that you push the office. Take this staff as a sign of your pastoral office. Keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has appointed you to shepherd the church of God. Tom, Jane, I bless you with all apostolic blessing and authority. Jane, I sense that there's a new chapter being written in your life. And in the days gone by, it's been a chapter of hard work and struggle and digging in, plowing, watering, hoeing. But I sense this new chapter is going to be a chapter of grace and reaping and sending forth and abounding in God's blessing. And so I bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to present to you Bishop Tom Hines, Bishop of the 
Philippines and the Charismatic Episcopal Church, the International Communion of the Charismatic Episcopal Church, and his beautiful, faithful companion, Jane. God bless you. Amen. on your throne, Bishop, the seat of God's authority here in the Philippines. The first thing I want you to do is bless me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may the peace, the assurance, the power, and the wisdom of God flow through your life now and forever. Amen. 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 <coughs> may the continued joy of God flow from your life and infect lives throughout the world in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. May the fullness of God's power flow out from you to touch the lives of men and mankind throughout the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Consider not our faults, but the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of God's peace. Amen. Is a great God as we have witnessed his greatness in our lives he is establishing his kingdom upon his earth he has established it and we are instruments of being perpetuators of that kingdom even as the temple and the tabernacle was built in the Old Testament people gave of their provisions in order for that temple once it was established to be sustained it is now our responsibility to to sustain the very kingdom that God has established through this church here upon this land through our tithes to our giving to our faith promises to the very substance of our lives as we present our substance before the Lord this evening ushers you may receive the fruit of God's abundance and provisions in our lives
we have this bread to offer which the earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life bless be God forever according to ancient custom we now mix water with this wine in token of the union of the divine and human natures in Jesus Christ. And we who drink this cup share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Lord God, 
We ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. As this incense rises before you, O Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in your sight, and let your holy angels encompass your people and breathe on them the spirit of your blessings. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his resurrection sent forth his apostles to preach the gospel and to teach all nations. He promised to be with him always, even to the end of the ages. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. When we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only Son, eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, and to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross, and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night when he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke the bread. And he gave it to his disciples and he said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks to you, he gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you 
and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has Celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and the blood of your Son, the holy food and, un and drink of the unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, consistency, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to sing. Our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah!
Let us pray. We do not do presume to come to the same table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your unfathomable mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up our bumps under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Father, to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that he may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Thanks.